بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته محاضرتنا إن شاء الله كرونيك أبستراكتف بالمونري ديزيز ومعاكم دكتورة جيهان حسن أستاذ الأمراض الصدرية كلية الطب جامعة طنطا Definition of COPD it is a common preventable and treatable disease that is characterized by persistent respiratory symptoms and airflow limitation that is due to airway and or alveolar abnormalities usually caused by significant exposure to noxious particles or gases. كل كلمة في definition لها معنى. It is a common preventable. Preventable means that it can be prevented by several methods. One of these methods is smoking cessation. تاني حاجة treatable. إحنا قلنا treatable, not curable. Curable disease like infection, it can be cured, like TB, like pneumonia, while treatable like diabetes mellitus and hypertension. Airflow limitation in case of COPD is progressive. ومعاه abnormal inflammatory response of the lung to noxious particles or gases. كمان معاه systemic manifestation. طب السيو بدي يشمل chronic bronchitis والإنفيزيما لأنهم الاثنين characterized by persistent obstruction of the bronchial airflow. بعد كده عندنا definition of chronic bronchitis هو productive cough every day or most of days for three months of two consecutive years or two months of three successive or consecutive years. لكن ال definition ده يكمل لما نقول after exclusion for other causes of cough and expectoration زي ما لاحظنا ال definition ده clinical definition يعني من الشكوى بتاعة المريض فالمريض لو اشتكى ان هو بيجيله cough and expectoration لمدة 3 شهور سنتين متتاليتين هيبقى تشخص انه chronic bronchitis لكن لازم الاول اطمن انه هو not malignancy not TB not any disease And then by exclusion, I can define this case as chronic bronchitis. What is chronic bronchitis? It involves inflammation, swelling of the lining of the airway. The high ADL, narrowing and obstruction of the airway. The inflammation and also stimulates the production of mucus, meaning mucus overproduction. This will lead to obstruction. And also, this will lead like to increase the likelihood of bacterial lung infections. Etiology and the pathogenesis of COPD: host factors, hereditary, allergy, and aging. Hereditary, like alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, this enzyme sensitizes in the liver and goes to the lungs through the bloodstream. It is one of the antiproteases which protect against the destruction by proteases. So when it is uh, deficient, it will lead to development of COPD. Allergy. When patient has asthma, may have also chronic bronchitis, and it is called asthma COPD overlap syndrome. Also aging, there are structural changes in the thoracic cage which lead to uh, uh, emphysema. Exposure to smoking, occupational uh, dust and occupational pollution, air pollution, and infection. Smoking can cause COPD by multiple mechanisms. By causing chronic bronchitis, a swelling of the airway lining with increased mucus production and the recurrent bacterial infection. Uh, the second thing that it can lead to uh, uh, also infiltration by inflammatory cells like neutrophils with release of proteases which lead to destruction of the lung. Uh, also proteases and the elastasis. Also, uh, it can lead to uh, increased oxidative stress and all of these factors can lead to development of COPD. في معلومة مهمة دلوقتي لازم نعرفها ال percent of smokers who develop COPD قد ايه؟ يعني قد ايه لو عندي 100 سموكر قد ايه percent منهم كان develop COPD؟ 15% طب لو عندي COPD patient 100 قد ايه منهم هيكونوا سموكرز؟ 85% pathology of chronic bronchitis chronic simple bronchitis chronic mucopyronant bronchitis Chronic obstructive bronchitis. Uh, this uh, picture demonstrates that uh, COPD is a reversible disease characterized by dilatation of, of ducts of the gland, mucous gland hyperplasia. So we said before that there is mucus hyperproduction, the exudation in the lumen, edema, hyperemia, second basement membrane. There is also fibrosis, inflammatory cellular infiltrates, epithelial disquamation. So it is a reversible disease. 
There is inflammation in asthma and COPD, and to differentiate between both, in asthma the precipitating agent is sensitizing agent like pollens, house dust mite, while in COPD it is noxious agent. Uh, in asthma, an airway inflammation characterized by cellular infiltration with CD8, with CD4 T lymphocytes and eosinophils, while in COPD, CD8 T lymphocytes, macrophages, and neutrophils. Airflow and limitation in post diseases also are different. It is reversible in asthma, while in COPD, it is irreversible. There is overlap between bronchial asthma and the chronic bronchitis. It is called asthma COPD overlap. The definition of emphysema is a pathological definition characterized by enlargement of air spaces distal to terminal bronchioles due to dilatation or destruction of alveolar walls. And there are two types, false emphysema and the true emphysema. False emphysema like senile emphysema due to structural changes in the thoracic cage. Uh, compensatory emphysema in case of lobectomy or pneumonectomy. Localized emphysema due to localized obstruction. Unilateral emphysema as in case of McLeod syndrome. في حالة المكلويد سندروم بيكون فيه برونكولايتس والبرونكولايتس ديت بيكون فيها ديستالي في هايبر انفليشن اند انفيزيما ترو انفيزيما اللي احنا بنتكلم عليها اللي هي البرايمري تايب الانفيزيمتاس تايب والسكندري اللي هو البرونكايتيك تايب ممكن يكون في كرونيك اوبستراكتيف برونكايتس البرونكيا الازمه كمان ديورنج الاتاك بيكون في هايبر انفليشن بتوصل لدرجه انها تبقى شبه الانفيزيما والكرونيك ازمه بتبقى زي السي او بي دي What is emphysema? There is permanent enlargement of the alveoli due to destruction of walls between the alveoli in emphysema. We didn't end up to see it here. Here, like this. Here, happened a destruction of the walls between the alveoli, and it led to an enlargement. Destruction of alveolar walls that will lead to reduction in the elasticity of the lung overall. Loss of elasticity leads to bronchiolar collapse. When there is bronchiolar collapse, it will prevent the air from getting out during the expiration. Some of air maintained in the lungs, so it is called the gas trapping. This uh, will lead to reduce the expansion of the lung during the next breath. We add the amount of air inhaled, so less air will be available for gas exchange. We trap the air can compress the adjacent healthy lung tissue, prevent it from reaching to its fullest capacity. Pulsophysiology, respiratory abnormalities and the cardiovascular abnormalities. Respiratory abnormalities in the form of disturbed ventilation secondary to bronchial obstruction. Disturbed diffusion secondary to destruction of alveolar walls and septa. Disturbed perfusion because of normal perfusion to the non-ventilated alveoli or due to polycythemia and also due to ventilation perfusion mismatch. Cardiovascular abnormalities in the form of pulmonary hypertension, hypoxic core pulmonary, left ventricular failure. From this picture, we can call the emphysema. The emphysema is a normal permanent dilatation of air spaces distal to terminal bronchioles with destruction of alveolar walls and the septa. The part that I have shown is exactly the part that is called respiratory asthenos. The asthenos that is called respiratory bronchioles, alveolar duct, and alveolar sac. بعد كده this picture هتورينا ال normal ال sentry asthenar sentry asthenar يعني بتأثر في ال ايه ال center of the asthenas اللي هو الجزء ده ايه الجزء ده هو ده respiratory bronchial اما ال pan asthenar بيتأثر كل ال asthenas اللي هو ايه respiratory bronchial وال alveolar duct وال alveolar sac عشان كده اسمه pan asthenar بعد كده عندنا الفرق في ال pathology ما بين ال pan asthenar وال sentry lobular او sentry asthenar البان اسنر هو ده الانفيزيما از ذا دومينانت ريسبيراتوري سنتر بيكون مور سنسيتيف ديو تو ابسنس اوف هايبر كارنيا ان ذيس بيشنت ده بيؤدي لسيفير هايبوكسيا ميكينج البيشنت كيبينج البي سي او 2 نير نورمال بافرينج اما السنتري لوبينر او السنتري اسنر برونكايتس هي الدومينانت ريسبيراتوري سنتر از ليس سنسيتيف ديو تو بريزنس اوف هايبر كارنيا وده هيؤدي الى وجود سيفير ديسنيا هايبوكسيا بيؤدي الى كور بالمونال رايت فينتريكولار فيلير سيانوزس اند ايديما سو ات از كولد بلو بلوتر اما البان اسنر اسمه بينك بافر طبعا ذيس تيبل شو كلاسيفيكيشن اوف تايب اي بينك بافر اند تايب بي بلو بلوتر اند ديفرنسز ريجاردينج كلينيكال مانيفيستيشنز شيست اكس راي اند ريسبيراتوري فانكشن تيست
This picture for a patient who have bronchitic type or blue blotter. This is for a patient with emphysematous type or pink buffer. Uh, what are the symptoms and signs of COPD? Symptoms in the form of cough, sputum production, shortness of breath, wheezing, uh, and it is characterized that it is progressive in cough. Uh, and also there are assessment of COPD by some uh, questionnaires like COPD assessment test, chronic respiratory questionnaire, ST George respiratory questionnaire, chronic respiratory questionnaire, modified medical research cancer questionnaire, uh, and the last one which is MMRC is the grading for dyspnea. Signs, vital signs, there is irregularity in pulse. Uh, also, there is puffy eyelids. There may be cyanosis. Uh, regarding the neck examination, congested neck veins. Uh, in upper limb, there may be clubbing if there is hypoxic core pulmonal. In lower limb, lower limb edema because of core pulmonal. Abdominal examination, we must search for hernial orifices uh, if there is uh, any uh, hernia or there is uh, uh, enlarged tender liver due to core pulmonal. Local chest examination, inspection, palpation, percussion, sculptation. In inspection, there is diminished respiratory movement, bile shaped chest, while in palpation, uh, there is uh, um, the heartbeat is not palpable because of, of hyperinflation. There may be a gastric pulsation because of uh, um, right ventricular hypertrophy. Uh, while in percussion, there is encroachment on hepatic and cardiac dullness uh, and also hyperresonance on the lung itself. Uh, auscultation, there is diminished vesicular breathing, uh, scattered uh, ronchi, and there may be crepitation if the condition is accompanied with uh, um, bronchitis. Complications of COPD, respiratory failure, respiratory infections, bronchial obstruction, collapse and bronchitis, pneumothorax, while cardiovascular system, core pulmonale, left ventricular failure, pulmonary embolism, polycythemia, edema, proteinuria, nephrotic syndrome, peptic ulcer, complications of chronic. Differential diagnosis of COPD, asthma can be differentiated that asthma occurs earlier in age, attacks precipitated by exposure to sensitizing agents, patient is free in between attacks, while congestive heart failure history of cardiac disease with the complaint of orthopnea, a chest x-ray showing opacity which indicates pulmonary edema, bronchiexis with manifestations of suppurative syndrome like excessive peronant sputum on leaning forward, also pulmonary tuberculosis which occur mainly in adolescents uh, with the manifestations of a night fever, uh, loss of weight, loss of appetite, and night sweating. Uh, also, a chest x ray can show cavity. The slide is the same as 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 Spirometry who will mean diagnostic tool of COPD. Investigations of COPD chest X-ray which showed hyperinflated lung, ribbon-shaped heart, low flat diaphragm, uh, white intercostal spaces, transverse ribs. This lateral view showed uh, increased retrosternal space which is called tongue sign. Spiratory function test for ventilation, diffusion, and perfusion, but the main diagnostic tool of COVD is spirometry, uh, which is diagnosed by uh, FEV1, uh, FEVC ratio less than 0.7 or 70%. It is the main diagnostic tool of COVD. The main diagnostic tool of COVD is FEV1, FEVC ratio less than 0.7. Uh, but to assess the severity of COPD, we can use FEV1 uh, as a tool for assessment of severity. We can classify it into mild if FEV1 more than 80% predicted, moderate if it is more than 50, less than 80, severe if it is more than 30, less than 50, very severe if FEV1 less than 30% of predicted. Arterial blood gas analysis, which can show hypoxia or hypercapnia or both, 
Spiritum examination for culture, CBC to detect for uh, increase in leukocytic count during infection, and also polycythemia if the patient is in hypoxia. ECG and the echocardiography, a CT chest, alpha-1 antitrypsin uh, measurement to assess the deficiency of alpha-1 antitrypsin. أول حاجة هنبتدي النون pharmacologic treatment of COPD smoking cessation وده أهم حاجة في التريتمنت occupation exposure prevention indoor and outdoor pollution measures to reduce them physical activity vaccination and rehabilitation الفاكسينز اللي هنستخدمها هي الانفلونزا فاكسين because it can reduce serious illness and the pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine is indicated in COPD patients 65 years or older and also those with FEV1% predicted less than 40%. طبعا الاكتف تريتمنت اوف السي او بي دي هو عباره عن اني بعمل كنترول للريسبيراتوري انفكشنز في فارماكولوجيكال تريتمنت اند المين لاين اوف تريتمنت هو البرونكو دايليتورز اوكسجين ثيرابي تريتمنت اوف كومبليكيشنز اكستربيشن ريسبيراتوري فيلير هارت فيلير بوليسايسيميا اند سيرجيكال تريتمنت اند ناو وي جو تو دو كلاسيفيكيشن اور كاتيجورايزيشن اوف ذا بيشنت ويز سي او بي دي تو جيف هيم ذا سيوتابل تريتمنت ايه هو الفارماكولوجيكال ثيرابي اوف سي او بي دي هو مينلي برونكو دايليتورز باي بيتا تو اغونيست ايذر شورت اكتنج اور لونج اكتنج انتي كولينرجيكس ايذر شورت اكتنج اور لونج اكتنج اور كومباينيشن اوف سم اوف ذيس برونكو دايليتورز ان وان انهيلر اولسو يوز اوف ميسايلز اند سينز لايك سايوفيلن انهيلد كورتيكوسترويد او كومباينيشن اوف لونج اكتنج بيتا اغونيست زي اللابا مع ال مع الكورتيكوسترويد ان وان انهيلر او في سيستميك كورتيكوسترويدز او في فوسفودايستريز فور انهبيتورز زي الروفيلوميلاست السلايد دي هتبين لنا ازاي هقدر احط البيشنت في الكاتيجوري اللي هو فيها عشان اقدر اديله السيوتابل تريتمنت أول حاجة confirmation of diagnosis by spirometry post bronchodilator FEV1 FEVC less than 0.7 تاني حاجة بعمل assessment of air flow limitation is severity by FEV1% predicted بعد كده بشوف ال number of exacerbation اللي حصلت في السنة 0 or 1 not leading to hospital admission أو لو كانت واحدة أدت لهوسبتال admission أو اتنين أو أكتر حتى don't lead to hospital admission في الوقت دوت هعمل classification للبيشنت A, B, C or D كمان مع ال exacerbation بشوف ال symptoms وال symptoms بعملها assessment بحاجتين modified medical research council scale وال COPD assessment test هل ال modified medical research council scale 0 ل 1 ولا أكتر من 2 هل ال COPD assessment test أقل من 10 ولا أكتر من 10 بعد ما عملت الحاجات دي قدرت اوصل بيشنت A او B او C بعد ما عملت اسسمنت للبيشنت وعرفت هو جروب A او B او C او D جروب A هقدر اديهم برونكو دايليتور which is short acting برونكو دايليتور وال جروب B هقدر اديهم long acting برونكو دايليتور لابا اور لاما لابا which is long acting beta agonist وال لاما long acting mascarinic antagonist Also group C other اديهم وهنا other برضو ادي combination لو لسه في persistent symptoms لاما plus لاما. While in group C other ادي لاما ولو في لسه further exacerbation ادي لاما plus لاما وادر ادي لاما plus inhaled corticosteroid. Inhaled corticosteroid اللي هي ال ICS. In group D other ادي كل حاجة لاما plus لاما plus ICS. اعمل consideration للروفيلوميلاست which is a new drug. فوسفودايستريز انهابيتور 4 واقدر اعمل كمان كونسيدريشن للماكرولايد ان فورمر سموكرز اذر فارماكولوجيكال تريتمنت كان بي يوزد ان بيشنت وذ سي او بي دي از انتيبايوتكس سبيشالي فور تريتمنت اوف انفكشوس اكسسيبيشن الفا 1 انتيتريبسن اوجمنتيشن ثيرابي اف ذا بيشنت هاز ديفيشنسي ان الفا 1 انتيتريبسن بيوكوليتكس انتيتاسيفز اند فازودايليتورز Uh, also, ventilatory support. If the patient has respiratory failure, he is in need for non-invasive ventilation or mechanical ventilation. Surgery and the minimally invasive or non-surgical approach in management of COPD in the form of colectomy. If the patient has very large bulla, lung volume reduction surgery, minimally invasive approach, we can do also lung volume reduction surgery using bronchoscopic techniques. 
Uh, in the last option, we can do also a lung transplantation if the patient has severe COPD, uh, as it can improve its quality of life and functional capacity. Thank you. Wabittawfi, insha'Allah.